Hello, this is Jan van der Stoel and welcome to The Voice AU Vlog with van der Stoel, episode 21. So, um, very exciting this evening, uh, I got to watch The Voice live which was fantastic because um, luckily the, uh, the septic tank at the scout hall burst and so uh, I had to cancel the course tonight so it was really great I could come home and I could watch it last and I get on the Twitter as well which was exciting so um, we are three weeks away that's what Darren said today we're three weeks away from announcing the voice which is really great because I'm getting a little bit bored of it now I, I really it feels a little bit like a marathon you know like the old dancing marathons that they used to have uh, or, or a real running marathon where it just is really hard as you get to the end you know um, and also I've just started watching uh, the Game of the Thrones and it is so great uh, when I'm home I just want to watch that you know so it is a bit of a discipline now to, to keep on going for the last bit um, so this week they had artists from each of the teams all getting dressed up. Everybody got very dressed up in a new outfit and then one of them got cut which was really sad because then they were standing there and they had on this lovely new outfit and they were all dressed up with nowhere to go, you know, a little bit like Helen <laughs> every Saturday night. Um, so Ricky lost uh, Katarina Torres, Delta lost Tim Morrison, Joel lost Michael Stenchel, um, and not Michael Stenchel, um, uh, no, Michael, the other one, Painter, Michael Painter, and Seal lost Jack Stone, which was such a shame because she should not have gone. But uh, it's very interesting. I noticed something about it. Uh, I noticed that as Australians, we love the underdog or the hairy dog because, you know, in most of the cases, the people that are going are the ones that are very nice looking, which are very groomed and, and, and all very kind of, you know, very perfect, very handsome, very attractive. And, and that's not what we like in Australia. In Australia, we like, you know, our pop stars to look a little bit like us. You know, just like the sort of person that you would see at the shopping mall, you know. Because look at this. Here we have, for starters, we have Tim Morrison. You know, very handsome, very, very uh, lovely moustache all cut in like that as well. And then look, we had here, we had... Um, uh, we had Kaiomi, you know, gorgeous Kaiomi, and uh, and Michael in the middle there, and 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 Michael on the end here, and uh, Michael is the one; he's the one that got the most votes, and uh, and not this one. Michael went home. So interesting again, you know. We go for the more truck driver looking guy, and then we had these two. Now, who do you think went home out of these two? That's right. It was Simon. He stayed and Katerina went home, beautiful Katerina. And then with these two guys, or you know, girls and a guy, again, beautiful looking girl, and, uh, and, and lovely Mitchell, who I adore, um, Mitchell was the one that got through. So it's interesting, I mean, no judgment, just interesting that Australians tend to like the people that are a bit more scruffy, and the other guys, I think for us, that looks very American or something. So anyway, um, that was interesting. I also liked to, this week that, um, like last week, they had the singers acting, getting ready, you know, uh, to sing. So we had um, Steve, that was uh, Steve, he was just doing gentle stretching, you know, being careful because he's a bit older. Um, and then we had uh, Mitchell and, and, and Kaiomi, uh, Kaiomi there. Mitchell was doing his sexy dance moves, practicing that, and Kaiomi was practicing her smile. And, uh, and then we had Michael Stengel before he went on and he was uh, learning his lines. He'd written them on his palm of his hand. And then uh, we had uh, Miss Murphy doing nothing as usual. And, uh, and then we had uh, Alex and Alex was still at the gym doing punching there, still at the gym with Seal. So they were all pretending they're getting ready. Anyway, I want to be very careful not to make the vlog too long because they've been getting way too long. So today I'm going to do a one sentence wrap up of each of the acts. So, Luke Kennedy. People in music theatre might be bankers, but vo their voices can sing in any style. That's what I say about Luke. Steve Crispy, an oldie but a goodie, both him and his song. Alex Gibson, the voice meets biggest loser, equals flat singing unfortunately this week. Danny Ross might be in a cult I think and I think that maybe 
his family is too. Um, there is his mother with a little special crossing the heart and his sister was praying. There she is. Um, maybe in a cult, but gee, he has really got something. I would follow him. Miss Murphy, great voice, but if she gets any lower in energy, she's just going to fall asleep. Um, this week she needed a rapper in her song just to shout at her to keep her awake. Michael Stangel, everybody hurts, but not when he sang that song. Celia Pavey had five top fives in the iTunes charts because she is such a good singer. So Delta picked Edelweiss from Sound of Music for her to sing this week so that the other people could have a go at being top five. Kaomi Fella looked like one of Paige's theatre ladies in her makeup. She was so uh, that was pretty intense. Um, and Jackie Sania, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. Simon Melly, Tiny Dancer, sings Tiny Dancer by Elton John. Trevor, shush please. Um, Mitchell Anderson, a note so high I thought his eyes would pop out more. And Harrison Craig, first prize at the Stedford but not The Voice. And finally, The Voice got it right with their halftime entertainment. Um, they asked an Australian to perform, finally. Um, actually, two Australians, Delta Guthrum and the wonderful Aboriginal singer Gurumu. It was a very special performance to celebrate Reconciliation Week and it made me think back to that boy band uh, whose name I've forgotten that performed a few weeks ago and how silly they really were. I hope, Gurumul, that you get through and you get lots of votes because I tell you, he, you, you know, he was not much of a mover but what a voice. Fantastic. And two final thoughts. The judges picked a few shit songs this week and last week and I have a saying about that. Shit song, shit sing. If you pick songs that go some nowhere, that people want to, you know, you've got to pick songs, sorry, that go somewhere, that people want to buy on the iTunes and that suit the singers. The singer is not there who, to heal the song, Ricky, they are there to sing the shit out of it, which might sound like the same thing, but it's not. So, you know, um, so you get a shit song, you get a shit sing. Okay, remember that. And quite a few of the great singers were very flat this week. And uh, Seal said to one of them, pitching doesn't matter because you're so brave, it resonates around Australia. Well, I would actually disagree there, Seal. This woman is also incredibly brave. Her name is Ving, and she um, is a Chinese singer who sang, Ving sings ACDC. Uh, she did a, a very brave thing, I think, as a Chinese lady to take on ACDC. Let's have a listen to her to see how brave that was. you will agree seal that pitching does matter so just stop it all right 